Patrick's Garage. Hello you guys, today I'm gonna talk about Ignition Distributor. In this video we're repairing the distributor with original contact breaker. For those who are young and uh, probably don't understand, I must to say that Ignition Distributor distributes electrical current to the uh, proper spark plug of the proper time. On the B20 engine, distributor rotor arm rotates with anti-clockwise direction. Distributor rotor arm sits in a shaft which revolves at one half of the crankshaft speed. Distributor cap central terminal from ignition coil and uh, four terminals uh, to the spark plugs by the number of spark plugs. This particular distributor is suitable only for B20A, yes, only late models, one forty series and uh, Volvo. 240 series. So let's get started. This ignition distributor was used on the late B20 engine. And uh, to be exact, this distributor was used on the late Volvo 140 series and on the early Volvo 240 series with engine B20. Okay, open the distributor cap and let's look what inside. We see a rotor, no original rotor. Pull out this rotor. Okay. And now we see distributor mechanism, distributor plate. And we see felt on the center of the shaft. Not forget oil it from time to time. And first of all, I'm unscrewing the contacts. For this, we can using simple screwdriver. Disconnect contacts. And if we see hardly enough, we can notice that these no original contacts. And look how much contacts worn out. And if we see this kind of crap, we'll be better to replacing the contacts. The surface of contacts point should be flat and smooth and grayish in color. When contacts meet up, they touch over a large area. Not forget about screws. I don't have a special tester to check their condenser. Therefore, I decided to replace it. I just unscrewing secure screw and I put it on the table. And now time to install the new condenser. Bosch parts is not cheap, just keep that in mind, and the price fluctuates according to the quality. So let's install it. I don't like when the wire touch the body. And let's compare with old condenser. Seems to me that they exactly the same. This square hole on the body is specially for condenser. We need a touching screw. It right here with our old condenser. We start screwing with fingers and continue with screwdriver. It's a beautiful Turkish condenser. It's amazing how some things don't change. And still much to my happiness, I can buy this part on every corner. But uh, truly to say, this not original number. Of course, the volume of capacitor exactly the same. 
If you're not confident in your condenser, it will be better to replace it. If you want to buy a new Bosch condenser, you got to fork out $10. Contributed its right solution. Never forget, there is all kind of part you can get relatively cheap on eBay. This condenser can easy available now. But don't throw money on stuff if it runs OK. And now let's adjust in contact gap. For these I need filler gauges. And as I said earlier about spare parts, the price fluctuates according to the quality. I'm sure these contacts will last a long time. And if you're interested, look at the part number. These contacts I'm using on earlier and late distributors with B20 engine. And let's open this box and we compare these original contacts with our contacts on the distributor. I bought these contacts on eBay. I bought Bosch just for peace of mind. And if we compare Bosch contacts with our contacts, we can notice little bit difference. Nobody ever wants to spend ten dollars. This is also good contact. We can just look and say, oh yeah, that uh, good or that bad. It's not easy. We must look hardly enough. And let's look what's crappy and what isn't crappy. And what is your choice? Let me know in the comments. Bosch contacts is plenty good enough for our distributor. Certainly we're not going to buy other contacts. It seems to me Bosch will be better. It's good that we choose Bosch. I do it myself because I can trust people. On it very simple to work. And to some extent it's true. Install contacts on its place and start screwing but not tightening. And now it's time to use a flat filler gauge. We're adjusting gap between contacts. We'll be handy enough using one of these gauge what we need without other gauges. The gap is adjusted at the maximum opening of the contacts. Inserting filler gauge between contacts. Yes, more convenience using only one gauge. And I decided to separate this gauge kit because I'm using only one. And very convenient when on the hands only one gauge. And now it's time to tightening the fixing screw. And after that, not forget about cleaning the surface of contacts with alcohol, degreasing the surface of contacts. A rotor arm, original rotor arm, Bosch. Electrical connection, hooking hardly enough. A rotor push on the shaft. And a distributor cap with original number Bosch. This cap only for late models. Okay, let's open and we see what kind of crap we can buy for twenty dollars of course on the cap we can see both i think it's full hardy what do you think about this quality so we feeling that things are moving in the wrong direction i'll continue in nowadays, this is not the quality that it was in a long time ago.
how to live under these circumstances anymore. Note lug in the middle of the bottom of the cap and two clips ready to installation. Not forget degreasing contacts. And don't trust clovens that actually can aggravate the situation. And check it out, this beautiful distributor was made in Germany. If you go to a mechanic you trust to do the work, get it done. Thanks for your support and see you soon again.